Hey everyone, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I came into contact with bed bugs this year. It was not a nice experience. And the idea of this video is to show you guys what to look for when you're looking for bed bugs and what you should do when you come into any hotel, any accommodation where you're actually paying to sleep. You may have seen the reports in the press about bed bugs being on the rise in Paris and some people questioning that the flood of the bed bugs is gonna come over to the UK. The company Rentakill has said they've seen an increase of 65 percent of infestations in the UK. Now if you're like me I have a massive phobia of bed bugs thanks to my stay in that caravan in Essex. By the way I'll put the link in the description and you can go and watch that video at the end. Now just before I show you how to check a bed for bed bugs I just thought I'd tell you about some common myths. You can't see bed bugs with the naked eye. That's wrong. You should be able to see adult bed bugs, nymphs, and also the very small little eggs if you've got a good eye. And actually some bed bugs can get as big as your finger. They live in dirty places. That is also not correct. I stayed in some five-star hotels and found bed bugs. Bed bugs won't come out during the day. If they haven't eaten for a while and you're there breathing out that CO2, they'll come running. First thing you must never do is put your case on the bed. Make sure you put it up, maybe put it in the bathroom or even in the bath whilst you check the bed first. When you come into a hotel, the beds normally look lovely, clean and fresh but what you don't realize is what could be hiding beneath. So it's best to check. What I tend to do is go for the corner straight away. Now, a bad sign, unfortunately, is when they don't have a mattress encasement. This one doesn't have a mattress encasement. It is good if a hotel's got mattress encasements because that means they're taking bed bugs seriously. So the first thing you've got to do is check all around the seams and it all depends about the mattress. Luckily here, I've got a very easy mattress to check, but some mattresses do have a couple of folds above or below, so it's important to check them all. And of course the box springs. So you check the corners first, literally all the way around the bed. And what you need to do is you need to really pull the corners back because bed bugs love to hide in the crevices. So you've got to make sure that you check all the way along the mattress. And also some of these mattresses also have a fold on the underneath as well, which you need to go and check all the way along. And a lot of the time as well, you need to pick the mattress up and check on the underneath just the same as you did on the top as well. And then of course, checking the box springs. Now the best place to check for the box springs is the corners. Uh, luckily this one doesn't seem to have any issues, but it's also worth checking on the underneath of the box springs as well. So you'd always check around the corners just here and you check on the underneath bit as well. And you're looking for what looks like black little seeds. Like I can see one here and one here. And uh, what I tend to do is I get my camera out with the torch. And most cameras have a zoom, so I tend to zoom in on it just to double check. And luckily you can tell that that's just a little bit of lint or could be, I don't know, a bogey or something, but it's definitely not a bed bug. You can tell if they're bed bugs because you can see the legs. And I always advise, use your torch on your phone to check the corners of the beds as well. And once you've checked along the whole of the seam of the mattress at the top and the bottom, it's then to the headboard you need to check for the, uh, the crevices is where they like to hide. And there's normally obvious signs if there is uh, an infestation. Let me pull the mattress back and check out the box springs and have a good look around the seams, around the corners. This is where the bed bugs like to hide. And in this kind of mattress, you've got to pay attention to these as well and check all around. Make sure there's nothing in there that's lurking or hiding, ready to bite you later. These are a problem area as well. They like to hide in the corners. So it's important to check all the way along. Have a good look in there that you can't see anything. And even if you don't see a dead bed bug, the other things to look out for are little stains, little black stains that look like a little bit of ink has been smudged on the mattress or maybe a little bit of dust. And of course, blood stains are a common sign that there's been a bed bug in your bed. So you never put your case on the bed and I never put any clothes near or around the bed. I always put them up on hangers well and truly out of the way and actually on a table if I can help it. So what is a bed bug bite? You can see by the photos, bed bugs like to bite in a line or a bit of a cluster. And a lot of the time they'll be itchy, they can well, and actually if you have a bad reaction to them, they can be quite painful and sore. Bed bugs don't just live on the mattress. Of course, they can live in furniture, they can live on carpets. Hence why you've probably seen some of the latest headlines about bed bugs on the underground and in the metro in Paris. They'll go anywhere where there's kind of material for them to bury themselves in and hide in. They do look a little bit hexagon-like. They're that brownish 
color, but they also do look completely different when they've been fed. It is true what they say, bed bugs do like to come out between the hours of one and three or four in the morning. Yes, they don't literally set their watches. It's just kind of when you're asleep, the room is a lot quieter and you're also breathing out more CO2 because they are attracted to your breath, which is a scary thought. They're blood suckers, so yeah, they like to come and drink a little blood and then they'll go back to their little holes, which could be in your mattress, by the side of your bed or even in your carpet. And try not to get freaked out because often you'll get bits of lint or black fluff on the bed, which is uh, nothing other than that. Like here, that's a bit of black fluff. And yes, the beds will look a bit of a mess after you've checked it, but you'll be able to sleep with a peace of mind knowing that nothing will bite you in the middle of the night or waking up with bugs all over you like I once did. And believe me, once that's happened to you once, you will always check the beds no matter where you stay. And yes, it's a right pain when you come on holiday, when you go to a hotel to do all of this, it will take about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes to do a good thorough check, but at least it's peace of mind for you. But if you're not bothered, just sleep in there and hopefully you won't get bit. I've actually been inundated with people sending me messages about how when they've found bed bugs, it's affected their mental health. And it's also something that's not really talked about because a bed is supposed to be a sacred place, you know, where you can come and relax after you've had a really rubbish day or when you need to get some sleep. So if you've ever had an issue with bed bugs, you'll know that it also takes a toll on your mental health. And that's really important to take care of that too. Don't forget to check your mattresses at home as well. And hopefully the bed bugs won't bite. If you want to see my awful experience with one such bed bug, problem make sure you click the video now give the video a thumbs up make sure you share it with someone who might need to know about checking for bed bugs and i'll see you next time